Firstly, select the block tool from the left hand side of the screen, then search for the texture you wish to use on the right. Type in door. Be sure to choose a texture without decal in the name, as these won't work. I'm going to use this one. Double click on the texture and make the block in the level where you want the door to be. If it doesn't line up, click on the selection tool and manually adjust the edges until it fits the door. If you want to make more precise changes to the size, click on these buttons at the top of the screen. These let you make more subtle changes to the block sizes. I find that a grid size of 4 is perfect for doing this sort of thing. Now when it's selected, press Ctrl T. There are two types of doors you can use. One is funk underscore door and the other one is funk underscore door underscore rotating. You'll see this little white dot here. This is the point that the door rotates around. If you don't see the white dot, click on this button at the top of the screen. You can mess around with where this white dot is. I'm going to use this position, where it's the same distance away from the sides and the end of the door. This means that it won't go through the walls when it opens and closes. Finally, go to the Flags tab. I'm going to tick Use Opens, since this lets the player open the door when they press the button. I'm also going to tick Toggle, because this lets the player close the door again afterwards. The rest of the options you need for the door will be in this menu somewhere. Take some time, look through it. There are quite a few interesting options you can choose, but it would take too long to go through in this video. Funk Door makes the door slide in the direction chosen. Choose this option in the list and this menu should appear. The white line shows which direction the door will move. It corresponds to the above view of the map. So at the moment, pointing to the right, it means the door will move like this in the level. If I set the direction to up, it'll move like this in the level. If I want the door to move up in the game, I click on the drop down list here and choose up. If you want the door to stay open once it's been opened, change the delay before reset value to minus one. Also be sure to go to the flags tab and to make sure that these two options are ticked. These let the players open and close the door whenever they want. Well done, you have a sliding door. You could always make your own door handle and make it part of the funk door, but I'm going to show you how to use a model. Click on the entity tool, click in the level, click on the selection tool and double click on the entity. Choose prop underscore dynamic, click apply. Now go down to world model, click browse and type in handle. You don't have much of a choice. I'm going to choose this one. Now move the handle to where you want it to be in the level. Close enough. And now you've got to make sure that your door has a name. I've chosen Dora. Go back into the handles properties and set its parent to Dora. The handle will now follow the door wherever it goes. Using a prop for a door can sometimes save time since it tends to include a door handle already. To place one in your level, click on the Entity tool and click somewhere in the level. Choose the Selection tool and double click on the Entity. Choose Prop Door Rotating. Select World Model and click Browse. Search for Door. Now click on the Info tab and you'll be able to see which sort of doors are available. Try and find a model with the tick next to Physics, as these will work as moving doors in game. This one will do. Double click on it and place it in the level like you would with a block. Once again, you need to choose the position of the white circle that it's going to rotate around, and that's all there is to it. If you want it to be breakable in-game, go to the Flags tab and tick Start Breakable. This will only work for some of the door models that have the damage already built in. So there you have it. This tutorial has shown you how to make simple doors, doors with handles, doors that slide, doors that slide upwards, and doors based on props. Hope this helps. Have fun.